Hello, it's Reverend Tony here. It's great to be with you again for our collective worship assembly today. We're going to be doing some wondering. But before we do that, let's have our opening responses. God is love all the time. All the time. God is love. I wonder what it would be like if you were blind and you couldn't see anything at all. I wonder what it would be like if you were blind and you spent all day sitting by the roadside begging, hoping that someone would give you some food or some money so that you could buy some food. I wonder what that would be like. I wonder what it would be like if you were blind and sitting by the roadside and begging and people shouted at you all the time, shouted insults and horrible things at you. I wonder what that would be like. Well, we're going to find out a bit, but I'll take these glasses off now so that I can see what we're doing and put these ones on because I can't see very much without my glasses on and we're going to hear a story, a story about Jesus. During this season of Lent leading up to Easter we're thinking about Jesus and his disciples making their way towards Jerusalem where Jesus would be put on trial and killed. And we're thinking today and over the next few weeks about some of the things that are really important to us, parts of our face, our eyes in particular. And this is an action story, so you're going to need to pause the video in a moment and get some volunteers to play the parts of certain people. So first of all, we want someone to pretend to be the blind beggar. So you could get someone to be blindfolded. A scarf would work really well like this. It could be tied around someone's face so that they can't see. And something that will do as a begging bowl. And we want that person to go and sit on the floor at the front of the class. And then we want someone to be Jesus and someone, well, several people to be his disciples. You don't necessarily have to have 12. But they need to go and stand at the front of the class as well and be ready to play their part. And everyone else in the class is going to be the crowd and the words will come on screen for what you need to say. And then everyone can join in and we will think what it was like for that blind beggar to meet Jesus and to be enabled to see. OK, I hope you've paused and got everything ready. Jesus took the twelve disciples aside and said to them, Listen, we are going to Jerusalem where everything the prophets wrote about will come true. I will be handed over to the Romans who will mock me, insult me, whip me and spit on me. They will kill me. But three days later, I will rise to life. But the disciples did not understand any of these things. They did not know what Jesus was talking about. And now we have the action bit. As Jesus and his disciples were coming near the town of Jericho, there was a blind man sitting by the road begging. When he heard the crowd passing by, he asked, what is this? So the person who's being the beggar needs to call out, what is this? The people in the crowd told him, and if all the rest of the class can join in, Jesus of Nazareth is passing by. The blind man cried out, Jesus, son of David, take pity on me. people in the crowd shouted at him and said, 
Be quiet. But the blind man called out even more loudly, Son of David, take pity on me. So Jesus stopped and ordered the blind man to be brought to him. Some of the disciples helped the blind man get up and come to Jesus. And Jesus asked him, what do you want me to do for you? The blind man answered, Sir, I want to see again. Jesus said to him, Then see, your faith has made you well. At once he was able to see, and he followed Jesus, saying, Thank you, God. When the crowd saw the man who had been blind following Jesus, they all said, Praise God. What a wonderful story about Jesus' care and compassion for that man helping him to see again, and how the blind man then, able to see, followed Jesus. So some more wondering. I wonder what we would say if Jesus said to us, what do you want me to do for you? I wonder what we would feel if Jesus said to us, your faith has made you well. I wonder what we might want to thank God for today. Just pause for a moment and think about that. What do you want to thank God for today? We'll have our song now and then I'll say a prayer at the end. And the song is... God's love is bigger than a burger. God's love is bigger than a burger, it is bigger than a mouse Bigger than an elephant and bigger than a house Bigger than a bus and bigger than a tree Bigger than a mountain, bigger than the sea What about a cloud? Bigger. What about the sky? Bigger. What about the earth? Bigger. What about the moon? Bigger. What about the sun? And what about the stars? Bigger. Is anything bigger than this big love? Uh, no Big and wonderful, big and wonderful God's love is bigger than a burger, it is bigger than a mouse Bigger than an elephant and bigger than a house Bigger than a bus and bigger than a tree Bigger than a mountain, bigger than the sea What about a cloud? Bigger. What about the sky? What about the earth? Bigger. What about the moon? What about the sun? And what about the stars? Bigger. Is anything bigger than this big love? Uh, no Big and wonderful, big and wonderful join in the Amen at the end. God of love, thank you for Jesus who stopped to talk to a blind man. Thank you that the blind man was then able to see and to follow Jesus. Help us to thank you 
for all the good things in our lives and help us to follow your way and care for others. Amen. And we'll finish with our closing responses. God is love all the time. All the time, God is love. Go and show that love to everyone you meet. Amen. Well, it's been great to be with you for our assembly today and I look forward to seeing you again soon, hopefully in person, but if not, on video. In the meantime, stay safe and God bless.